Hello and welcome to this Film School Forest Storyboard Tutorial Part 2. In the previous tutorial we learnt why we use storyboards, what a storyboard is, how to become a good storyboard creator and we learnt a little about drawing. In this tutorial we are going to continue using the same video that is Danny McCaskill's Imaginate which you can find on YouTube and we are going to work with the same sequence of six still images this title scene, this establishing shot, this extreme close-up, this point of view, another extreme close-up and another point of view where the bicycle turns the somersault. In this tutorial you will learn that a storyboard is basically a plan and that the important part of any story is the emotional impact. You will also learn how filmmakers can plan emotional impact by considering carefully different camera shots, sequences and camera placement at the storyboard stage. It's always a good idea to study a well-made film to understand the filmmaker's intentions. So here we have shot one. It's the title and the camera is positioned outside the room of a small child. In the background we hear 1980s music which is rather muffled. We cut to shot two. Now we are inside the room but the view of the main subject is obscured by what appears to be the front wheel of a bicycle hanging from the ceiling of a boy's bedroom. Then we cut to shot three, which is an extreme close-up of Danny's eyes. He is staring down intently at something. Shot four is actually a point of view. And shot three was the precursor to this. It raised a question, what is Danny looking at? Here we are shown in shot four what he is looking at. He's manipulating and building something with his toy blocks. In shot five, we cut to an extreme close-up of his mouth. Here we just see a simple action. His tongue slips out of his mouth. It is a sign, a symbol of intense concentration and pleasure. Shot six is another point of view and the young Danny picks up his toy bicycle and makes it perform a somersault. So the point of view shots put us, the audience, literally inside the head of Danny. A few shots later, we cut to a huge room which is, in fact, the imagination of the young Danny, where the older Danny performs his incredible stunts. This short sequence only lasts a few seconds, but we can see how the filmmakers have used camera placement and framing to create emotional impact by drawing us into the young boy's head. We'll now move on to an exercise where you will learn how to storyboard to create emotional impact. So the first thing you need to do is create a very short story or use the following suggestion. You will need to get some actors, or in this case some animated models, to perform the story and you will need to observe carefully details of the performance. Then you will have to think about where to place the camera and how to frame the shots so that you tell the story with emotional impact. And then you can create the storyboard. So here's the little simple story that we're going to create a storyboard for. Well, it starts out as a suspense film and ends up as a love story. But how are we going to storyboard it? We can create storyboards using drawings or photographs. For this exercise, we're going to use photographs. We saw in the previous tutorial how most storyboards in schools look like this, just a sequence of long shots with the camera far away and no cuts. So how could we change this? How could we use different camera placements, different framings to really bring about some emotional impact? At this stage, you don't really need to worry about what the shot is called. You just need to place the camera, frame the shot and think about why you are doing that. What do you want to show the audience? What do you want to tell them? And what sort of emotion do you want them to feel or see on the screen? So now you've got your story. Find yourself a phone or a camera, uh, some Lego models, or if you're lucky, some actors, and work together to find out the best placement for the camera, 
and the actors and the framing of the shot to really tell the emotional story that is in front of you? What can you show the audience to enable them to feel what the actors are feeling? The suspense, the trepidation, the relief, the enjoyment. So I hope you've enjoyed this filmmaking tutorial. You can find more on the Film School Forest YouTube channel. <laughs>